Kick and the famous personalities is a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a long while because I've seen all these other content creators and commentary channels talk about it. And also, I just like talking to about people because i'm a horrible person i've seen these guys pop up in the last few years not the last few years but the last year in general i've seen them pop up i mean there's a few cool guys on kick i, I know a few people on kick they're cool i mean i have myself on kick i like i'm on kick you can go follow me if you want i'm a piece of shit either way like shit the fuck up it doesn't change anything you know when when you think of kick you think of the head the the, the five people boozy sneaking around your bitch and trying to get her fucked neon jack doridiu do you and gambling god xqc <laughs> that, that's the only people you think about when you think of a uh, kick i mean for other people who stream on kick and all like yeah you can probably name a few other like niche niche like kick streamers that you watch but for the most part the general public when they think of kick they think of those people and like it's pretty bad that that's the people you think of when you think of kick all of these people have been dickheads or just horrible in their own way i mean let's start off with fuzi bro literally had with a sex traffic girl in a airport bathroom came back to stream and started flexing about it and then started having a mental breakdown over him doing something wrong and just like oh no no and then keem did fucking the alex is a fucking like called him out and he's like no i swear to god i didn't do it and like it was it was a horrible like it was a horrible situation i mean he had talked to the girl and she was like yo i have children that stuff and i've gone through all this and he's like he's just sitting there with a blank stare like mm, yeah Here's some money. Here's some. Hey, you wanna fuck? Hey, you wanna fuck? Here's some money, but here. Uh, <laughs> you wanna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna fuck in the, in the airport bathroom where it smells like dookie water? Go over to Neon. I mean, from what I know, Neon is just a dickhead to everyone he meets because he really just blew up on kick for the first. Uh, well, originally he blew up for faking his death. He blew up recently in the last year, or not this year, but 20, 23, because of just bullying people on Sneeko Stream. I mean, he will go on uh, Sneak Around Your Bitch and uh, get a fuck stream just start like screaming at people and like making fun of them which of course of course 12 year old people are gonna find that funny i mean i'm sure there's like his community is filled with at least one 17 year old <laughs> who else do we have we have we have sneeko of course Nico really blew up in 2023 because of big bald headed man with cigarette in his mouth andrew tate and also him just being weird and shit and screaming at the camera like no you're a bitch originally sneeko had already had like a little bit of relevance on like the youtube space i mean he had like 200 subscribers because he made quality content that was actually like good and shit and he was also working for mr beast at one point which was fucking insane you fumbled the bag on that one crazy but yeah no sneeko he really got fame from really being red pill and and like just hating on women as much as possible it's it's actually insane how much he hates he calls them feminists but he just means every female on earth because he just makes fun of every female he tries to put them under the a feminist category each time well they bring nothing but no they're just females dude <laughs> fucking hell also he was uh, a meme for like three or two months because he would just let his girl get fucked like dick down crazy <laughs> i don't know how to explain that like how can you let that happen though and like willingly he went on a podcast and literally said yo i'm a cuck wait indirectly i don't think he actually said he was a cuck but indirectly said yo i'm a cuck and indirectly which is fucking crazy just say it who else we got we got uh oh this guy has been popping up the last uh three two months jack dorito jack doherty was already a, a little bit popular before kick really blew up as all these content creators were i mean fuzzy tube had like 10 million subscribers at one point i think yeah i think so i think he had like 10 million subscribers at one point but jack doherty has really just become the punching bag of 2023 and a little bit of 2024 it's just 2024 but people are still shitting on him as this video entails yeah i don't know i i don't like to pick sides in this type of shit because of course yeah jack dory is a weirdo and shit and he's like a 19 21 year old dude he's 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 a weirdo right and this i could say the same for neon he's also a kid i don't know what to say about ne uh, about neon or jack dory like they're both kids and shit i don't well no jack dory is 21 i think neon is like 18 i don't i don't want to search up how old neon is because i don't want that on my search history so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna find it later when i'm editing but jack dory his content consists of him walking around 
around with bodyguards and showing famous people and talking to them so it's like it's like kais and that but irl streaming and with bodyguards of course kais and that probably has bodyguards but he doesn't have them with him 24 7 and kais and that he features like popular people on a stream once in a while but mostly it's just him because people like his personality i don't think people like jack doherty's personality because he literally just fucks around like 24 7 and it's cool to fuck around i like fucking around but he fucks around a little too much like he will go up to people in the mall and just start fucking with them and then instantly like oh security go ahead fire up destroy the hey punch this guy into an oblivion did you see i think i think everyone has seen that clip where security guard just comes and melee like fucking super smash bro melee punches the man in the face like i don't know if it was karina com ka friend or something i don't know it was some someone who was related or like associated with karina com the 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 one girl who got popular because uh david dobrik and she wanted to suck his you know her I'm sucking off a CEO. Yeah, her. And yeah, no, the, that's the, that's the only thing I, I really remember about that situation. Like the bodyguard just fully just destroying him, and like he just gets up instantly, which is crazy. I mean, w, w guy. I don't know what the fuck it was going through his head. I don't know if it was adrenaline just getting him up. I'm surprised. I'm fucking surprised. And yeah, no, uh, Jack Doherty is already getting enough shit. I mean, if you really want to see an in-depth video of like why Jack Doherty is an asshole and shit, I'll try to find another video because this ain't, ain't gonna be it this is just gonna be me ranting and commentary about how i don't like the most famous people on kick right now and of course the man the myth the legend xqc i have a little bit of respect for him actually he beat the lawsuit with his ex-girlfriend and his ex-girlfriend tried to literally gaslight everyone into thinking they were married what <laughs> what the fuck we fucking got him Okay, yeah, that's a W, and there was something with a McLaren just being stolen, or hers, or his, and I remember there was- I, I remember seeing a lot of clips of it the day after, and everybody was talking about it. XQC, I think, I think, the like, the most sane person, on oh, no, rock, the most sane person on this list, it's XQC. I'm not even fucking with you. Even though he's literally like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and he sits on his a chair like a fucking goblin. I think he's the most sane and normal person on that thing, even though he's been in a lot of controversies with that one with HGHV, where he sent a DM of his wrist and says yo my my watch my watch costs more than your house i'm like okay vape nation <laughs> remember when hvh did that dude holy shit oh my god dude i missed that xqc has been through a lot of controversies but nothing as bad as what the other guys on the list have been in i mean like fuzi he has berated his own workers multiple multiple times neon is literally just harassing people online and offline oh yeah IRL right for seven and he's just he, he's a kid who's getting manipulated by another another bitch It shit's popped out of nowhere like his girlfriend just popped out of nowhere I, is, or is her name Sam or something? I think her name is Sam from what I remember right she just popped out of nowhere and everyone just knew her because of neon okay cool I don't know she's trying to promote her only fans or something I don't know what the fuck's wrong with her she's like I don't like neon in general but just seeing someone trying to leech off of him is just annoying leeching off of it like seeing one anyone leech off anyone is annoying I I mean that's just the truth but i think xqc the the goblino el goblino from his nickname yeah i did a little research first time ever on the probably christian channel doing research <laughs> that's the first time ever i think he's the most normal person on that list and maybe that's why he got the biggest like kick deal because he's literally just fucking around just reacting to videos of course that's a huge controversy he's been in multiple times with reacting to content and that stuff without the uploader's permission but i don't think that's as bad as fucking a traffic girl in an airport bathroom but i've been bobbing a little too long see ya